In the previous video, we learned that NextShares, by default, automatically caches the return values of fetch operations in the data cache. In this video, we will dive deeper into the what, why, and how of this data cache. What is the data cache? It is a server-side cache that persists the result of data fetches across incoming server requests and deployments. Why is it required? Well, the data cache improves app performance and reduces costs by eliminating the need to refetch data from your data source with every request. And how does it work? Let's understand the process through a visualization. The first time a fetch request is made during rendering, Next.js checks the data cache for a cached response. If a cached response is found, it is returned immediately. If a cached response is not found, the result is made to the data source, which is JSON server in our case, and the result is stored in the data cache. For subsequent fetch requests with the same URL and options, the cached value is returned by passing the need to contact the data source. Let's switch back to VS Code and understand this visualization using JSON server as our data source. Begin by deleting the .next folder as it is an important step for understanding how the data cache works. Although we have primarily worked with products data, let's start by making a request to slash users, which fetches data from JSON placeholder. Correct the URL to slash users, run the Next.js dev server with npm run dev, and navigate to localhost 3000 slash users we see the list of users being displayed. Behind the scenes, the result of this fetch request is cached in the data cache. If we expand the .next folder and inspect the cache folder, we see a cache entry corresponding to the user's route from JSON placeholder. For subsequent fetch requests, Next.js uses the cached response instead of querying JSON placeholder. If this is clear, let's explore this further with the products route where we control the data. In the browser, navigate to localhost 3000 slash products. The list of products is fetched and displayed. We see a log statement indicating the fetch request was received. On checking the cache folder, we see an additional entry corresponding to the products route. For the initial request, the data was fetched from the JSON server and then cached. Let's update the price for product 1 to 1000. Now, if we restart the JSON server, so node server, and reopen the same URL in a different tab, the page loads as expected. If we check the JSON server terminal though, there is no additional request received log statement. This is because the cached value from the data cache was used. This behavior persists for all subsequent requests to the products route. It's also crucial to note that the data cache is a server-side persistent cache and not the same as the browser cache. So if we visit the same route from a different browser, for example, Firefox, we still see the cached response from the initial fetch request and not the updated price of 1000 for product one. JSON server has the updated price of $1,000, but not our Next.js application. And since this is the default behavior in Next.js, I wanted to make sure you understand it thoroughly. Thank you for watching. Please consider subscribing to the channel and I'll see you in the next one.